Thank you, Gil. Lexus is bold when it comes to design and technologies, and this concept vehicle takes things to a whole new level. It's one of the most surprising creations ever imagined by our premium brand. This vehicle could allow our customers to explore the most remote places in style and in a sustainable way. It's called the ROV concept, with ROV standing for recreational off-road vehicle. Of course, it's not meant for production, at least not yet. But it shows Lexus's intention to develop innovative vehicles that support a wide range of lifestyle experiences and are fun to drive. The Lexus ROV concept is designed to deliver an exciting experience thanks to its lightweight but robust construction, an advanced suspension system, and its high power to weight ratio. Its hydrogen combustion engine is also extremely clean with near zero emissions. In that sense, the ROV concept is perfectly in line with Lexus's powertrain philosophy to deliver high value products in relevant segments of the premium market. We've also demonstrated this with our new NX plug-in hybrid, which is redefining the segment with its class-leading EV range and unparalleled efficiency. We're very pleased that you have confirmed this too during the recent Dynamic Press launch. Following on from that successful first generation, this new model will play an even more important role for Lexus in Europe, and we fully expect it to spearhead our growth ambitions in the short term. And the next step for Lexus in terms of powertrain expansion is almost upon us. In the first half of next year, we'll launch our first premium battery electric vehicle on a dedicated platform, the stunning all new Lexus RZ. True to Lexus's innovative spirit, the RZ will feature groundbreaking technologies that will deliver a unique driving experience. These include a direct 4E axle, steer by wire, and a platform architecture specifically developed to deliver a premium and engaging experience. You'll hear more about it in the Lexus deep dive session later on. Lexus has already come a long way in a relatively short period of time. But as you can see with these exciting new models, we're strongly committed to further develop the Lexus brand and push forward in the premium market. To take the next step, we're building a brand new global headquarters for Lexus in Shimoyama, Japan. This new campus features carefully designed test tracks that reproduce the most diverse and demanding driving environments including some parts of the Nürburgring. At Shimoyama, Lexus engineers, designers, and planners will be co-located to stimulate creative solutions and the use of groundbreaking techniques to speed up the development of new models. This will lead to a whole new generation of Lexus vehicles that will bring our bold design philosophy, driving signature, and electrified strategy to the next level. The result will be a strong and sustained flow of product launches, including no less than 20 new or renewed models by 2025, supporting significant growth for Lexus globally. Our growth in Europe will also accelerate in the years to come. By 2025, we expect to almost double our volume to 130,000 sales and increase our premium market share to 3%. Now, another brand in our portfolio that continues to grow strongly is Toyota Gazoo Racing. After the launch of the exciting GR Supra in 2019 and the stunning GR Yaris last year, we're now in the launch phase of the latest addition to the GR family, the GR86.
As with other GR models, Akio Toda has been closely involved in the development, especially when it comes to ensuring this new AD6 performs as a true GR halo model. A number of you had the opportunity to drive the car near Barcelona a few weeks ago. And to say that your feedback was very encouraging is quite an understatement. Outstanding and the perfect sports car are two of my favorite headlines. And I'm sure President Toda will be equally delighted to read them. We're already receiving a growing number of inquiries from potential customers, including those who believe GR86 could be the last of its kind. And at least for Europe, they may be right. In fact, potential customers will need to act relatively quickly to secure a GR86 of their own, as we plan to offer it for only two years. Our order books are already open, and deliveries in Europe will start in the first half of next year. Turning to motorsport, with our Gazoo Racing brand, we are pursuing a varied powertrain strategy towards carbon neutrality. And I'm sure you'll forgive me for quickly mentioning our recent triumphs as we take enormous pride in them. For the next few months, we'll celebrate the distinction of winning the double-double, both constructors and drivers' championships in both WEC and WRC. This is an unprecedented achievement, which speaks volumes about the exciting capabilities of our cars, their quality and durability, and the winning spirit of our company, championed from the very top by Akio Toyota. We owe much of our success to the prowess of the previous Yaris in its final season in WRC, and to the new GR010 hypercar, which in its debut season won Le Mans and the overall World Endurance Championship. Up next is the 2022 Dakar Rally. We will complete strongly with a new Hilux T1 Plus driven by Nasser Alatia and co-piloted by Mathieu Bommel. This inspires us, fingers crossed, to dream of a possible triple crown of simultaneously holding championships in WRC, WEC, and Dakar. 2022 will also see the debut of the new WRC Yaris with hybrid power, meaning that both our WEC GR010 hypercar and our WRC Yaris will have hybrid powertrains. Like the rest of motoring, motorsport is steadily moving in a sustainable direction, and Toyota is already playing a leading role. The FAA is increasingly looking at using sustainable e-fuels, perhaps even at the very highest level. In fact, in 2022, both the WRC Yaris and WEC GR010 will run with fuel created from 100% renewable sources. And as you've seen from Japan, we're already conducting our own experiments with hydrogen combustion in motorsports. What's great about this approach is that not only does it deliver almost zero tailpipe emissions without electrification, but it does so whilst retaining the things which fans love most about race cars, the speed and the noise. If you want to know how wonderful a hydrogen-powered, high-performance car can sound, maybe you should meet the experimental GR Yaris Hydrogen. Here it is.
Music to the ears, especially to those of a petrol head. It's just a concept, of course, but with the FAA mapping out a future that delivers excitement in a clean and sustainable way, it's no surprise to us at Toyota that hydrogen is at the top of their agenda. And who knows? Perhaps a road car with this technology could be a possibility, especially as we now see the hydrogen infrastructure in Europe starting to expand. The uplifting message of the GR Yaris Hydrogen is that even in a zero emissions future, we could still enjoy motoring thrills similar to those we enjoy today. And it needn't be a distant future. By using our existing internal combustion engine know-how and manufacturing investment, we could get there efficiently and quickly. So whatever the future holds, we're convinced that the journey to carbon neutrality will not only be electric, it will be eclectic. That's to say it will embrace multiple technologies and fuels which all lead to the same destination. Gil talked about this earlier. And to support the realization of this multi-technology approach in Europe, we've developed a new platform architecture that blends the key elements of ETMGA with platforms like GAC. Internally, we refer to this as our E3 architecture. This exciting new platform will enable us to deliver great design, great drivability and great packaging, especially for the electrification elements to an even wider portfolio of vehicles. In short, our new multi-tech platform will deliver three E's, emotion, engagement, and energy. And it will give us the possibility to flexibly adjust the powertrain mix of our core products, for instance, hybrid or plug-in hybrid or electric, according to customer demand and market infrastructure. We'll tell you more about this architecture in due course, but I can confirm to you today that it will become the center of gravity for our European production sites through 2030 and beyond. These plants are already operating with 100% renewable electricity, and we're committing to achieving carbon neutrality in all of our European manufacturing locations by 2030, beating our global ambition by five years. These are not straightforward targets to achieve, especially when you consider that we must reduce our manufacturing cost footprint in Europe at the same time. But the plans to achieve it are in place, and I'm confident that we will get there. I'm also certain that we'll be able to take big steps towards another carbon neutrality commitment regarding circular use and reuse of plastics. By working closely with our suppliers, our buying transforming our internal processes, we plan to more than triple the use of recycled plastics in our cars by 2030. This means at least 20,000 tonnes of plastic per year that will go into our cars and not into landfill. Part of this substantial increase will come through our plan to rapidly increase the use of 100% recycled PET seat fabric in our vehicles over the next five years. In addition, we'll be switching to animal-free interiors in the same time frame. These targets highlight how we're working in a holistic way to reduce carbon in every area of our business to get to carbon neutrality and sustainability as soon as possible. As part of that consideration, we must, of course, include the in-use carbon emissions of the vehicles we sell every year. Today, those form a large part of Toyota's carbon footprint in Europe. Earlier, I explained the zero emission powertrain mixes we anticipate for 2025 and 2030 before reaching 100% CO2 reduction by 2035, if infrastructure allow. And whilst battery electric and fuel cell electric vehicles will undoubtedly form the bulk of our zero emission vehicles in the coming 10 to 15 years, we're continuing to work on alternative technologies 
such as hydrogen combustion, perhaps for wider use than mainstream automotive, that could deliver near zero emissions without any electrification at all. Toyota is in a once in a century transformational period where in addition to further developing our existing business operations, we're also rising to the challenge of transforming into a mobility company. There's no doubt that an unprecedented decade of change lies ahead of us, but there is no fear and no concern about these challenges. We see a future that is full of opportunity. We have strong demand momentum today and are confident that we can transform whilst continuing our growth path tomorrow. We're excited about change and we're ready for it. And as ever, we're putting our customers first. Their confidence in our products, our services, and our future plans is what gives us the strength and determination to succeed. All customers are on a journey to carbon neutrality, but depending on their needs and their local environments, they may not yet know exactly how soon they can get there. But one thing is for sure, Toyota will continue to be their trusted partner on their individual journeys, today, tomorrow, and beyond. Thank you very much.